G'day YouTube viewers, welcome back to my channel AT73 Today is a nice launch day today It is 14th of April 2022 Temperature 22 degrees, humidity at 47% The wind from the northwesterly uh, direction um, Today we are going to launch five rockets First one is the Skyline, sitting at 36 grams, it's the only one with the wooden fins, the rest of them have all plastic fins, uh, we got Sparrow 65, Endeavour 5, sitting at 71 grams, Red 66 is now 71, due to the extra weight of the Plastic fins, so we replaced the, the wooden ones with plastic. Same thing with the photon. We replaced the wooden ones with plastic. Photon still weighs at 80 grams. So, just a quick thing that happened yesterday. I was here doing part two of my rocket launch. And, um... I was flying Photon and Red 66, which were quite unstable during the takeoff. Then I had a neighbor across the field who came to me and see, saw uh, what was all the fuss about, what's all the shooting all about. And I told them that I was into rockets, air, air cannon rockets. Uh, so, bit of a chit chat here and there. I even did a demonstration flight with Atlas, which flew quite well. I couldn't see it, he actually saw it go up and come down. You thought it was going to crash, seeing how he was nose diving, but at the last couple of seconds, he actually um, stabilized itself horizontal and landed the way it should, horizontal. And um, he was surprised when I told him that the whole part of the program is to launch a rocket at a high altitude and bring him down uh, horizontal. So no need for a parachute recovery or a straight mount recovery for that matter. So he was surprised with that. So we started chit-chatting about other stuff and um, by the time you know it, night time came, nightfall came and uh, we had to, I had to postpone the other rocket launches. And uh, I couldn't get Atlas, uh, couldn't tape Atlas. Because uh, I had my eye there during the launch, but during the landing, I had my eyes on the compressor, switching it off, and I couldn't track it. So no tape, unfortunately. But the other guy saw the whole thing, so he was pretty impressed, and he knew exactly where it landed. So as I said, nightfall came, and uh, we had to postpone all the other rest of the rocket launches. So today is a renewal of part two. That we're going to do. Uh, cannons ready, compressors ready. We'll be running our rockets at the usual uh, 95 psi pressure, and we've got five rockets to test fly. So first of all, we're going to fly the Skyline 36. And the whole idea, Skyline, it is extremely light, very light rocket. One of the lightest I've built uh, up to date. That can at least take the pressure at 95. The joint upper tube and lower tube, it's uh, with um, Sikaflex glue. I'm hoping it will hold up. We're not sure, we'll find out. So we'll see how we go with the first flight. And pressurizing.
Okay, skyline going in three, two, one. Oh, there you go. Touchdown. Okay, so we know where the skyline's landed. Unu unusual takeoff. But our landing was no good. Sparrow on the pad and 65 grams. Probably compare this with the Aries and the Atlas, we'll find out. Here we go with Sparrow at 95 psi, going in three, two, one. Oh, nice and high. Very nice and high. Oh, very nice. Horizontal all the way, nice and slow, and touchdown. Very nicely done with Sparrow. Continue on with the Endeavour 5. We've done Endeavour 5 before. Well, well, now we are going to compare it with Red 71. Endeavour is a little bit tight on the top at the joint. I'm still going to push it all the way down. And hopefully it won't pop. Hopefully it won't pop off the upper tube. See what happens. Okay, Endeavour 5, going in 3, 2, 1. Whoa, very nice. Very nice hike. Oh, nice and horizontal as usual. Coming down slowly. And touchdown. All three rockets landing in the same spot, which is good. Let's see how it compares with Red 71. Red 71 is nice and loose. Let's see if she can make it higher, even last longer during the descent stage. We'll find out soon. Okay, red 71, going in three, two, one. Oh, not as high. So where is it going? Come back, red, come back this way. By landing nicely, nice and horizontal. And touchdown. Interesting flight trajectory. Very interesting. But it didn't go as high as Endeavour 5. Next one is Photon with the reflective tape. Our last rocket launch for the day.
Let's see how Photon goes on his third flight with up upgraded fins. Going in three, two, one. Ah, oh, nicely. Nicely done. Much, much better. Much more stable. Very nice. Coming down and touchdown. All five have touched down, so now it's a matter of uh, recovering the rockets. Surprisingly, they all landed in the same spot. Only one of them just landed here. I can see it from here. A um, bit unusual. Again, Endeavour 5 was a little bit tight on the joint, which could have gathered that extra boost on the way up, um, where this one was a loose one. Uh, so if you can make it a little bit tight it would be nice but not too tight where the air cannon just won't shoot it up as um as it's supposed to so on that note we'll see you in the next episode we'll see where we go from here um i'm starting to run out of ideas now so who knows could be the I think uh, there is one idea that I've come up with, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing it on our next episode. But we'll, but stay tuned and just find out uh, on our next episode, see what happens. So until then, bye for now.